Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today on this Wednesday of Holy Week. Let's spend a few moments with our Good Shepherd. And I read from Matthew chapter 21, verses 12 and 13. Jesus entered the temple courts and drove out all who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves. It is written, he said to them, my house will be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of robbers. What would Jesus do if he entered the city in triumph? Where would he go? Jesus' first order of business as he entered Jerusalem was to challenge his people to change their ideas about worship. The Jewish people had built for themselves a system of worship based on royalty, ritual, and respectability. But that wasn't valid worship, nor was it in keeping with God's word. Jesus instead demanded that worship be based on humility, holiness, and honesty. All the money changers had set up their booths in the temple area, the Jews traveling in from faraway regions couldn't bring their own sacrifices, so they had to buy them there in Jerusalem. What better place than right there in the temple, where the correct sacrifices were being sold? But they couldn't buy those sacrifices with their foreign currency. They had to use the official temple currency. So the money changers had set up shop in the temple courts too. What a great service we're doing to our fellow worshipers who must travel so far to come to the temple. The money changers must have thought. Never mind that they twisted the system of money changing to their own advantage. Instead of offering a service to their fellow worshipers, they were charging the highest price possible for exchanging the people's money. That's why Jesus condemns the temple as a den of robbers. Jesus demands that our worship be built on holiness instead of on what looks good. He taught his disciples that we are to worship him in spirit and in truth. He worshiped honestly and he did it for us. We are the temple of God today. Is your heart a quiet place of seeking after God and communing with him? Or is it filled with busy shouts of profiteering? Is your heart a place of merchandise or praise and thanksgiving? Worldly values and practices always place the self at the center and demands God and others fit around it and what's convenient for me and my self-centered desires. You can only be loved as far as you allow, allow yourself to be known. In other words, if you put on a mask, all you will know is that someone loves your mask. You don't know if they love the real you. That leaves doubt and fear. True worship is honest worship. Come before your Lord with no pretenses. He knows who you are, really, anyway. Come before him with no masks. He knows the real you. Come with open hearts. He knows what's there anyway. The way you know that God loves you, all the way down to the deepest, darkest parts of your life, that's why he came. That's why he saved you. That's why he forgives you. He loves you that much. Honestly, we pray. When once you visit to darkened hearts, then truth begins to shine. Ten earthly vanities departs, then kindles love divine. Amen. Well, my friends, May God bless you this day as you worship him in honesty and truth.